Landy. Um, from the look at this park, it's a pretty looking park, but it is quiet. You can hear mice pee peeing on cotton here. That's how quiet it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, shout out to all our new subscribers. Shout out to all the newer beginner RVers. Hey, I want to show you guys something real quick, real quick. Our new RVers. Okay. When you first get to the park, first thing you want to do is chalk your tires. Just what I'm doing right now. I have not disconnected it from our truck as of yet. I'm chalking all my tires. I already chalked the other side. After I chalk my tires, next thing I do, I, I give it power. I give it power where we can let out the slide outs and she can start working on the inside. So after I give it power, that's when I go and I hitch. All right, those are my quick steps when, when um, we first arrive, chalk the tires, give it power, then I hit. I'm all hooked up. As you can see, I got my sewage hose running. I got one going to my black tank and my gray tank, and I have another gray tank for my washer and dryer. So that's hooked up. My power cord is hooked up. This is a full hookup lot, but I do have a little drip. So let me handle that real quick. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I know you saying I ain't hear nothing because I didn't hear nothing either. Guys, this is so funny. We just got back. When we first got here, we first got here, it was super quiet. So I'm thinking like, okay, it's the weekend. The kids gonna get out. They're gonna be riding their bikes. It's gonna be different come later. We get back. And it's even more quieter. When I say you can hear mice pee on cotton here, you can hear that mice. But what's so funny about it, I'm gonna get on the Shanti, cause what's so funny about it, and you know, A-classes, I was gonna get on y'all, but I've been on the road, and I haven't been getting on you guys. And I'm gonna leave you guys alone because, because I can really get on you because this whole first row right here is nothing but A-classes. But I'm not going to get on you guys because I'm going to give you guys a pass on this sign, Breed. But because these people here, I think, are retirees. This is like a retire, retirement RV park or something. Because it is dead here. Look, when I say eight classes don't bring out chairs or nothing like that, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. But again, eight classes, I'm not getting on y'all. All right. I'm going to give you a pass when it comes to this here. park. Look, she's going to always come and say something it beautiful, is. something beautiful. gorgeous or whatever. It's clean, it's beautiful, and it's safe here. And it is <laughs> in the right location. She's saying that because she picked it out and she knows what I'm going to talk could, about. You could jump, jump right off this campground and be in the mix and jump right back in now. So anyway. And there are people out walking around. You're trying to make it seem like nobody out. People are out. Where are they at? People are out, Tom. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. So, He's a hater. So guys. let me go with this way, guys. Let's go look at the pool. Okay. It is clean here, though. Look at this. Look, <laughs> nice. so she's trying to distract me. Clean. But this part here is quiet. How you doing? Hi. All right. You? So he got a travel trailer. That's why he's saying something. But anyway. Hi. Hello. She's trying to get all we loud. We didn't. <laughs> oh, but she burps at everybody. <laughs> but she has no teeth. Oh, she has no teeth? No. Oh, what's her so name? Her name's teeth. Abby, and she can't, Abby. she can't hurt you. Oh, that's I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I'm going to walk away. They just was coming out. Look, eight classes. No chairs outside. 
we're gonna go to the next no chairs outside we're gonna go to the next benefit of the doubt huh quit trying to catch up with me quit trying to catch up with me okay there's one chair outside with nobody outside no you didn't yes i did no you didn't i did but anyway this park is a beautiful park but it just it's just so quiet I, mean, I i like the noise i like that i like that summer feel it make me feel like i'm in the midst of summer and it, this park don't make me feel like that but it is big rig friendly yeah all the big rigs is up front that's not too friendly because we can't get up front we're not up front she's calling everything big rig friendly how friendly is this park when all the big rigs is up front and they're not outside Remember I said they get the best sights, guys. They get the best sights. And they don't be outside. But A-classes, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about these other A-classes down here. They got these sights. Oh, did I say, did I mention that? Let me tell you, show you a little about these sights. When I say they get the best sights, these sights sits in front of a, a river. Where you going? Oh, yeah. They sit right in front of a river. I say they get the best sight and they be in front of the river, but I don't understand why these parks do that when they should put the I think they should put the people with the travel trailers up front and the reason why I say that because the travel trailers people are gonna get out they're gonna be all down on the bank of the river they're gonna be enjoying that river a classes is not gonna enjoy that river they can care less about this river they see many of rivers yeah but it might have alligators in it there ain't no alligators in Tennessee anyway this is the river guys it is a beautiful park. Number eight class is all down here. But none of them out. But they get a view like this. They even get that sunset, that beautiful sunset over there. over here hating on you know my pick but whatever <laughs> they do have a bathhouse here and they have a laundry room so I do want to check out the laundry room and it is oh it is clean and it has air conditioning which is a big plus I like that open from 8 a.m. to 8 45 p.m. okay and then you got the woman's bathroom let's go check them out okay double entrance and pretty clean there we go there you have it Thumbs up. I like a clean bathroom. <laughs> nice. So guys, I must say that this park is immaculate. When I say immaculate, it is the cleanest park that I have ever, ever been to. It's the cleanest park. It's the cleanest park I've ever been you. to. See? I gotta say that. Thank you. It's the cleanest. Look at that. This park only have 70 sites, right? Yeah. It's a small park. Not a lot of sites. Look, not a lot of sites, but I mean this park is nice. It's clean. It's just boring. It's boring is all outdoors. But you're supposed to go. You hear that? You hear that? The, the bugs? 
You ain't hear nothing, did you? The bugs. <laughs> I hear the bugs. Start blue on it. Day two at this fun field campground. When I say fun, I mean it's still quiet. You can still hear the bugs. You hear it? That was Shanti call them. They're crickets. You get the crickets is louder than the people. But we're not gonna sit around here. We're gonna get out. We're gonna go and visit some people that we know that's in the area. We're gonna go and do some sightseeing. Shanti. Are oh, you ready to go do some sightseeing? Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you? Huh? How much? Are you ready to go do some sightseeing? No, that was corny. Whatever. See? Keep her out. That's the most action we've seen all morning. Guys. A little tip that I like to share with everybody before leaving a campground. Be sure, I don't care how nice it is outside. If you're gonna be leaving your RV, be sure to let those awnings in because you don't know what can what can happen, what type of freak storm can come and take off your awnings. So we always like to let our awnings in anytime we leave a park. Gatlinburg is even worse. This traffic can make you want to stay on your campground. But oh, I guess <laughs> I guess I'd rather be in traffic. <laughs> than on the campground. Yeah, than on the campground right oh, now. Whatever. It's clean. Just a what north of Gatlinburg? It's called Greenbrier. 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 Mm -hmm. Just north of Gatlinburg. We came here to say hello to Tony Lincoln and his wife. What are you doing? You guys are close enough up. We are here with our friend that we finally get to meet face to face, Glenn. <gasps> wow! From Destination A to Z, who is our moderator. Alright guys, we are hanging out with Glenn. He wanted us to try this Blue Moose burgers and wings, so we're here. But what's going on here in Tennessee, Gatlinburg, is like a got a jeep invasion 
There's Jeeps everywhere. Even in Gatlinburg. No. And it is called the Jeep Invasion? Jeep, Jeep Invasion 2022. Wow. All right, look at all these Jeeps. How many Jeeps do you think are down here? I was told 9,000. 9,000. And they got that one for sale. So that'll be. <laughs> but guys every time we come down here something always different going on last time we was here they had like a big um, truck they, they had a big truck invasion I, I don't think it was called truck invasion but it was something but it was nothing but big huge trucks sitting up they got the jeep invasion going on I think I was down look, here. Look, look, look. Yeah, look at this. It's showing up right there. Usually they just uh, they just out here driving. They're, it's right, no, they're not even hyped. <laughs> Nobody out here hyped up. They just driving their jeeps around. <laughs> They're supposed to be smiling. Most of them just look normal. But what day is the big celebration for a Jeep Invasion? It's Today. The whole weekend. It's the whole It's weekend. a Saturday. Starts on Thursday all the way through till tomorrow. Okay. Everybody take their happy Jeep on back home. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It is a beautiful night. It actually cooled down. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. It's it was perfect. hot. It was like, what, what, the 90s earlier? Yeah. It was 91. 91? I mean, it was hot. It cooled down. It was nice. People out riding. You got the Christmas place right there. Nice. All the decorated. Huh? Uh, they'll go to uh, Quaker Steak and Lou. That's, okay. They'll go there and hang out. A few of them will. Mm -hmm. uh, a few of them will obviously go to Blue Moose and hang out. Mm -hmm. And most of them, now tonight at about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, you won't, this street, this whole road up through here will be solid Jeep. Really? Everybody will be You out. can't get in. You can't get in. So guys, when we came here to the Blue Moose to eat, Glenn knew not to come down this main street. Even though his GPS told him he could come down this street, he said, no, I'm not going to chance that. <laughs> so we came all the way, we came up here. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we came a back way. Uh, I mean, we went through curves, twists, turns, everything. But, yeah, you do not want to come in something like this. Check out this, Jeep. Look right. at this right there, turn it.
busy. And I think there, there needs to be some type of support group for Bucky's because it is packed. 